Com Slater is still with us in the studio. He's editor of Spiked Online. The, the targeting of J.K. Rowling is quite extraordinary. Um, the murder threats, death threats, the, the, the rape threats, the abuse threats, the general threats of violence that she receives are off the scale from people who are the, the people who tend to have hashtag be kind mm. in, in their biogs on their Twitter handles. She ain't backing down. I am loving the new Come on, have a go if you think you're hard <laughs> enough, J.K. Rowling, because she is absolutely a hero for so many people. Great writer, love Harry Potter, really enjoyed that. Uh, I love the fact she's just taking on all comers. The thing is, they're targeting her, and we know why they're targeting her. These, these trans activists are targeting her because they think, if you can, if you can make her shut up, mm -hmm. if you can silence her, scare her, threaten her enough, then we all will give up. She's, you know, she's incredibly rich, incredibly powerful, incredibly successful. She's got, you know, millions of followers. If she is forced to zip it, as mm -hmm. all good women must do, then every woman will follow. They picked the wrong woman, didn't they? Absolutely, and that's why it's been so inspiring to see what a courageous stance she's taken in relation to this. She didn't need to pick up this fight, even if it bothered her. She could surely console herself with um, all the hundreds of millions, if not billions of pounds that she has sloshing around. But this is clearly something that for her is an issue of fundamental principle. My favourite thing to do whenever people go at JK Rowling is to ask them what it is that she said yeah. that's supposedly so hateful. Um, she's made, a, written a very nuanced liberal piece on her website talking she's about her She's tweeted numerous times. This. Not a single word that she ever uttered, written, hinted at, suggested anything anything but respect and kindness towards trans people. Exactly, just for standing up for women's rights and for sex-based spaces and so on. Something which, due to her own personal experience, she feels is very important. Um, she's been turned into a witch, effectively. Um, and it's a reminder, not only just of her own courage for standing up to that, but also, as you say, the crucial importance of people taking that stand where they can, because... Yeah, and just say, if... we, won't, we won't put up with it. But there's exactly. that genuinely, I, I mean, really, trans women, aren't women, they're trans-identified men. Come get the handcuffs. Can you, I, arrest me. You can arrest me. You can put me in prison. You will never make me pretend that I believe the lie that men can become women and women can become men. And that's how, that's how millions of women feel. I use the word, they come for, they come for JK Rowling. They're going to have to make their way through a heck of a lot of other women and other, and other men who, who, who are fed up with this nonsense. I, I, you'd think the SNP would have learnt their lesson over Nicola Sturgeon and trans rapists, you know, being put in uh, to, to women's prisons. They have not learnt their lesson. We are going to have to, we're going to have to go right, you know, right to the wall on this one. But there are millions of women like J.K. Rowling, like Maya Forster, to Helen Joyce, and all these other fantastic heroes, and little old me as well. Very, very happy. You can put me behind bars. I will not be forced into that Orwellian lie that a trans woman is woman. They aren't. They're men. Absolutely. And I think that's one thing that the SNP or any other government are going to have to recognise. People are not just going to. They're driven not. People thing. have had enough, indeed. Thank you so much more from uh, Tom coming up now today.